Also, uh, Bob Aylesbury out there. And looking good for a start. Terry Wixall running car 88 off the back of the pack. Into turn number one. Uh, there's a bit of a push and a shove. Veer's untidy there. Nearly brought them all down. But he uh, gets away with it. Oh, here's a go up the back. We have two cars locked together. And it's the car of Terry Wixall and Bob Aylesbury. Bob Aylesbury is now going to restart minus the front wing. Now, this will really create him some handling problems, but Bob's quite a competent driver. You can see the car there, no front wing on it, just the uh, bare bonnet. You can see by uh, accelerating the car rather sharply that it, in fact, um, is very, very inclined to play drag cars and lift right up off the deck. But Bob's going to give it a go. The Adelaide Chevy Action, car number eight of Bob Aylesbury, and he goes to take up his position with the field as they get sent away on their effort. Maybe a little unfair to Bob Aylesbury, who's trying as a go, we've got Agars up on his side, and oh, just about. Cameron and Agars. Boy, they don't want to start this one ever with a wing on uh, Agars' car. And all that saved him was the fact he was flush up against Cameron, or he would have been um, headlight, tail light, and over. Now let's see him line up again this time. We've got Cameron going back out of one, and Dave Veers off of two. So it's 17 and 18 from South Australia off one and two. Dave Anderson, Victoria off three in car 37. And Zeke Agars in car three off position four. Looking good for a start? No, sir. Very, very raggy if they come around that bottom turn. Snowdus two, something interesting. Agars has a split in the top of the wing. That's the, uh, the horizontal wing has a split in it. Now, whether the air will catch in there and put the car right off balance, We'll have to find out. Very bunched up, coming around this time. Eight laps still up on the scoreboard. We haven't got one down yet. Racing now, and away they go. Into turn number one. Gil Cameron, but Agar's on the outside. Here's the go. Uh, Veer's got untidy. And now Cameron comes across the front of him. Agar's back to second place. And David Anderson, car 37, Victoria running third. Pass the judge this time safely, we hope, for the first time. We've got Cameron leading it away in car 17. And in second place, still Agars. Dave Veer's having all sorts of trouble. The car just becoming uh, uncontrollable and up the rear of the field. Whether he's had a problem with something, I can't answer. There's a car blowing a heap of smoke. That happens to be car 21 for Victoria, Robert Dubois. And we look at the leaders. We've got somebody else on the infield. They're chasing officials. And that was Dave Anderson. He's decided to give it away for the evening. There's the leader there. Away he goes. The man who may challenge him, and he's got the laps to do it about four and a half, as a matter of fact, is Zeke Agars. Agars with a split in the top of the wing, the other side of the wing hole flapping off. So Tavern 63 sign flapping everywhere in car number three as the leader goes down the back chute. There's Ailes, uh, sorry, Dubois, having a battle with Aylesbury. That's for fourth position. And in between them should be, if we pick it up coming around this time, Car number 12, young Jamie Cobby. So it's young Cobby in third place. This man running second still, Zeke Agars. The leader now coming around. Two laps remaining. Gil Cameron looking good. He may be uh, about two car lengths further in front of Zeke Agars. I thought Agars was making up ground, but he's lost it on a couple of corners there, and that's where it's all important. It's no good miss being able to run fast in a straight line. Last lap. We'll pick up the leader. Car 17 as he comes around the back shoe. There he is there. He goes into turn number three. And the checkered flag being prepared. Gil Cameron's going to take out heat number eight of the Brickworks Grand Prix. He goes over the line first in second place. Car three, which is Zeke Agars from South Australia. Car 12 also from that state. Young Jamie Cobby. And behind him, Bob Aylesbury. And car number eight followed by Robert Dubois from Victoria.